this place gives me goosebumps. Double back for our coats? What's the point? Little Jill won't kill you. Well, looking on the bright side, maybe the cold keeps the demons at bay? Yeah, because monsters like war. Ah. And there's our one. <laughs> Well, here we are. Yeah. Gladio got him. What? He's heading down a slippery slope. In slips. Oh. Say your prayers. She thinks love deep pits. That's kind of weird.
Wah! Hmm, nothing turned up. Did you double check? Triple checked. Then, we're done. Where to next? Thing. Nothing but ice. Cool. Knocked, if I may. Don't ask. Yep, we're lost. <laughs> Don't answer. Don't know where we came from? Don't know where we're going. Likely. Let's see for ourselves. Bring on the next one.
You okay? What did I... Where was that? What is it? A hole in the ground. Something burning. The meteor? You saw the disk of Corthus. Let's make our way back to Lestalem. Yeah, gotta report to Talcott. Hey, who's up for a bite? Everything in order? Yep. All right. <sighs> it's getting hot out here. Just need to pull in somewhere cool. <laughs> yeah. Any chance of uh, sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure suitable accommodations nearby. Noodles outside the city. All right. Might be worth investing in a few servings in the event our pantry runs bare. Well, put it on the list. Noctis! Welcome back! Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. <sighs> Not again. What's the matter? You alright? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nock's condition. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? 
like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride? But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? Folk here are real friendly. Yeah, everybody greets you. Takes some getting used to. You draw more attention here than you do at home. Everybody out. <sighs> All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. With you. you might find the cab fare to be more than you bargained for. <laughs> you drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish. Drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. 
What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, alright? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wa What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archean's not going anywhere? Neither are we under your stewardship. So, we make camp. With Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Now this feels like a road trip. Yeah, go figure. Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Uh, if you'd rather not be in photos? Oh, I don't mind at all. Snap away for His Highness's collection. Uh, what? of the youngest oracle in history. Is it hard giving blessings? It would be selfish of me to complain of my burden when so many suffer and wait. I hope they trust I will not rest until they are most solace. The world watched on with worry and wonder as the young girl grew. I understand you have a message for us. If you know of any who are bedridden or unable to come to me, pray, send word, and I shall go to them. I follow my calling. I will not halt my steps for anything else. In time, her strength would become an inspiration to all. What is your opinion of the treaty? When war has ended, so too will suffering subside. The treaty is a momentous step towards a brighter future. Let there be no doubt. We walk the path of true peace. I hope she's okay, wherever she's headed. Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady... Freya... <sighs> Blessed stars of life and light. Deliver us from darkness blight. That is all I can do for now. But trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle! Thank you, Lady Lunafreya. Lady Luna Freya, 
I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. We should have done more, like taken her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. Or mine. I'm sure the missus would understand. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Feel sorry for Lady Luna Freya if he doesn't. <laughs> He's got you there, Noct. Everyone would be like, oh, she could do so much better than him. What does the Oracle need the Prince for anyway? <sighs> Imagination run wild much? Oh. Good morning to you. <clears throat> I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Very well. Let me know when you are ready.